Hello, this is Bo. Welcome back. In this video, you will learn how to create a relational database, query the database, and create a simple report. More specifically, we'll be creating a database for an imaginary school or college. We'll be creating two tables. One table will contain information about the students, and the second table will contain grades. The student's social security number will be used to relate the two tables together. Well, to save a little time, I've already opened up Microsoft Access. I've pressed on the Office button, and I chose File New. I've come over here under Blank Database. I'm going to give my database the name of School, and I'll be storing this on the temp, a temp directory on my C drive. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and press Create. And that's going to open up a new table in the data sheet view. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I press on my home tab, and I'm going to change this to the design view. And I'll give this the name students. And press OK. OK, the first thing, or the next thing I'm now going to do is define the fields in my students table. And the first field is going to be a social security number. It's going to be of data type text. And I'm going to limit the field size to 11 characters. That's going to give me 9 characters plus 2 dashes. Next is going to be uh, the field name, first name. And this will be of type text. And I'll go ahead and limit this to 50 characters. Next we get last name, text, 50 characters again. Then I'm going to go with a uh, birth date. This will be a date slash time. I'm going to go with gender. This will be a text again, and I'm going to limit the field size to one character. It can be either an F or an M for female or male. And finally, balance. And this will be of type currency. Before I close this, let me just come up here to the top, and you can see Social Security number is my primary key. That means all Social Security numbers must be unique in the student's database here. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I close my student's table, and I'll hit Yes to save the changes there. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and double-click on my student's table, and I now need to add some entries here. I'm going to start off. I'm going to create an imaginary student here with all social security numbers 1 and give them a first name. And i tell you what, just to uh, save you a little time, I'm going to go ahead and pause the screen recording. When you come back, I will have added three students to my students table. I'll catch you in a second. Bye. Well, welcome back here. We've got three students. First one, all 1s. Second student, social security number all 2s, all 3s. We've got two females, one male, and here's the balance. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and close the students table. Yes, to save the changes to the layout there. And now what we need to do is create a second table where the grades will be inserted. To do that, I'll press on the tab Create, and I'll choose Table. And like we did with the students, I'm going to press on the Home, and I'm going to change this to Design View. And the second table will have the name Grades, and I'll go ahead and press OK. OK, like the students table, the first field is going to be the Social Security number, and it's going to be of type text, and 11 characters, just like we did earlier. The next field is going to be the class, and this is going to be of type text. Maybe I'll limit this to uh, 50 characters. The grade well, depending on if you got plus minus, if you got plus minus, you would go with uh, two characters. If you just got A, B, C, D, and F, you could get by with a field size of one for the field size there. And finally, uh, credits. And here I'm going to go ahead and choose Lookup Wizard. And I'll go ahead and enter some values. I will type in the values that I want. Press Next. And I'm going to just go ahead and type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I've now limited the credits to either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 for the number of credits the students each course can be. And I'll press Finish. OK, before moving on, I need to remove this little key right here, the primary key under my grades table. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and press on the tab Design. And I'm going to come over here and press on the icon Primary Key. 
And the reason I need to do this, turn this off, is because each student can have multiple grades. Every time a student takes a course, we're going to add another entry into the grades table. So a student with Social Security number 11111 may have numerous entries in this table. And if I had a primary key, there can only be one entry for that student, or one grade for that student there. So I've turned that off. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and close my grades table. And yes, I will save the changes there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and double click on my grades table. And I'm going to go ahead and start entering uh, some values here. Starting off with student with all social security numbers of one. And like I did a second ago, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the screen recording. When you come back, I will have added some grades here. And welcome back. We've now I've now added some grades to my grades table here. Take a look here. I've got the social security number 1111. This student has taken one, two, and three courses. Every time a student takes a course, we're going to add another entry to the grades table. Where a student with all social security numbers two has taken only one course, and a student with all social security numbers three has taken two. But maybe remember uh, this student with all social security numbers one has taken uh, CS 101, History 201, and I'll make this uh, math 301 so it's a little bit easier to remember. Okay, at this point I'm going to go ahead and uh, close my grades table. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, run through a quick query, then we'll come along and create a report. Okay, to create a query, I'm going to press on the tab Create. I'm going to come over here and press on Query using the design. I'm going to go ahead and just on the query, only be querying one of the tables. I'm going to be querying the students table. So I'm going to highlight students and choose Add. And I'll go ahead and close this. If I want to simply list all the students with no criteria, I can simply double click on this asterisk. And now to run it, I'll press on the tab Design. And I'll come over here and press on the red explanation point. And you can see that's going to show all the fields with no criteria. So in effect, shown my entire database. I'm going to go ahead and press on my Home tab. And I'm going to come back and change back to my Design view. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this entry. And there we go. OK, so now I'm going to go ahead and specify exactly which fields I want. Maybe I, maybe I actually want all of them. So I'm going to double click on Social Security number, first name, last name, birth date, gender, and balance. And let me go ahead and resize these columns so you can see all the columns at one time here. And there we go. OK, starting off here, let's assume I want to, for underneath the criteria, I want to find all students that were born after a certain date, which point under the criteria I could put uh, greater than or equal to. I'm going to put a pound sign, 01 slash 01 slash 1985 and another pound sign. And this is going to return all students who were born after 1985. So I'm going to go ahead and press on my tab Design and run the query. And you can see I've got an 87 and 86. In effect, I'm returning all students born after a certain date. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, press on my Home tab. And I'll press back on my View. And I'll go back to my Design view. Well, maybe I'll go ahead and uh, delete that. And I'll go run through another couple queries. Maybe I want to return all females. To do that, I'm going to simply type equals F in double quotes. And that's going to be uh, the criteria under gender. I'll go ahead and press on the tab Design. And I'll press on my Run icon. And sure enough, I'm now returning all females at the school. Again, I'll go ahead and press on the tab Home. Change this to my Design View. OK, if it's on the same line, for example, if I was to put a greater than 200, this is going to be an AND situation. And it would return all females who have a balance greater than 200. But if I place the 200 on the line below, it's now an OR situation. And now it's going to return as I want all students that are a female OR return all students who have a balance greater than 200. And let me just go ahead and run this last query here. I'll press on the design and go ahead and run the query. And that's going to return all students. Either they have to be a female or have a balance of greater than 200. Well, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just simply uh, close my query. 
save changes, sure, in case I want to come back to it later, and I'll just give it the name Query1. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is uh, create a report, which is going to be taking some information from the students table, some from the grades table, but before I can do that, I need to create a relationship. To create a relationship, I'm going to press on the tab database tools, and I'll press right here on relationships. I'm going to first of all choose uh, students, I'll choose add, then I'm going to choose grades, and I'll press add, and I should have moved this out of the way so you can actually watch those tables pop up there, and I'll go ahead and uh, press close. Now I'm going to go ahead and press on the tab design, and I'm going to go ahead and edit my relationship. I'll go ahead and press create new. My left table name was students. My right table name was grades, and how are these two tables related? Based on social security number, and I'll go ahead and press OK and create. So I've now got a relationship defining how these two tables are related, and that is the social security number there. Okay, at this point I'm going to go ahead and close my relationship, and yes, I want to save the changes there. Now I can come along and create a report that takes a look at some of the data from both the students and the grades table. So I'm going to come along and press on create, and I'm going to go ahead and choose I'm going to come along and press try that again, press on create, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go ahead and create a report using the wizard. So create report wizard. Okay, so from the students table, I'm going to get, well, it's social security number, first name, and last name, I'm just pressing this top arrow. I'm now going to change this to the grades, and let me just get the classes. I'll highlight that, press this top arrow to transfer that over. Okay, at this point I'm going to go ahead and press finish, and here is my form. So we can see um, Susan Smith, and here are the courses that she currently is taking. Well, the first thing I can see here, or probably the only thing I really want to change is I, have, I do not have enough room for the entire Social Security number to be visible. So I'm going to go ahead and press on the tab Print Preview, and I'm going to close the Print Preview window. And I'm going to come over here now, press on the tab Home, and I'm going to go back to my design view, which is where I'm at. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press right up here on first name, and I'm going to simply drag this to the right a little bit. Try that again. There we go. I think I got it. Nope. There we go. Okay. In fact, I've resized first name, making that a little bit smaller. Now, social security number is a little bit larger. Okay, let me go ahead and press on my home. And let me come back, whoops, press on home. And I'll change it back to my report view. Now you can see I've got all the social security number visible. I've got the student's first name, their last name, and the courses that that student currently is taking. CS 101, History 201, and Math 301. Well, in this uh, video, you learned how to uh, create a relational database. We had two tables, students and grades. We related those two based on a social security number. And then we created a, a few queries and added a report. Well, hopefully uh, you learned a little bit in this video. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.